Hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of the Kistler O'Brien podcast. I'm Tyler Trumbauer with Kistler O'Brien Fire Protection as we are set for our August 2021 episode of the KOB podcast. Believe it or not, 2021 flying along here as we're going to wrap up our summer episodes. And we're actually approaching our one year anniversary of this podcast already, believe it or not. Stay tuned for that. We got some good surprises coming up for that episode later this year. But before I get ahead of ourselves and talk about later in the fall, we got some business to attend to here for our August edition of the KOB podcast. And I am excited to be joined today by a industry leader, someone who has been all across this country to talk about systems and services in the fire and life safety industry and joining us here to talk a little bit about that what he focuses on in his current role and the future of the industry. I am honored to be joined this month by Chris Steeples, the National Machining Sales Manager at Firetrace. Chris, thank you so much for a few minutes of your time today. We appreciate you joining us here this month on the KOB podcast. Hey, thanks for having me, Tyler. Absolutely. And so I just laid it out there, your role obviously at Firetrace, a large leader in the industry. Um, and you have years of experience at other stops and, and now in your current role as well. What do you focus on in your current role at this moment? Well, Tyler, my focus is managing a national sales team that supports distributor and OEM relationships within the CNC machine and dust collector market. Absolutely. And, and CNC machines uh, you know, are going to be a focal point of this conversation, something that a lot of folks don't think about in the fire and life safety industry, but they are a huge critical point in the machining industry, as you said, and something that's obviously a part of your day-to-day -day operation. So I mentioned uh, your current role, you're at Fire Trace International. Can you tell us more about the company and what they provide for end users? You kind of teased it there a little bit, but expand on that, if you will, just to familiarize our audience with you and the company. Sure. Uh, Fire Trace International started in the small enclosure fire suppression market in the early 2000s and really grew into the trusted name for protecting several key markets, including CNC and dust collection. Uh, in 2016, Hama PLC purchased Fire Trace International and added our company to a growing list of life safety companies within their umbrella, supplying us really with resources and tools to support our distributors globally. Uh, we provide fire, reliable fire suppression systems for manufacturing, critical infrastructure, uh, clean energy, and even military sectors to protect lives and livelihoods across the world. Great. And obviously a, a wide variety of end users that you work with and partners, as you mentioned, Firetrace and Kistler O'Brien partners in life safety solutions, um, working on various systems, including those CNC machines. So kind of let's dive into that partnership and how that workflow goes. Um, for obviously our end users, a lot of the times they see our KOB technicians, they see the equipment come with them, the installs, the service, the maintenance. But how does that kind of work for us as, as the end user sees the product that our team's working with, but starting back at the beginning of that life cycle with you guys working with us and then working with the customers on the front lines? Yeah, certainly. Firetrace works with a network of expert distributors, just like Kistler O'Brien, who value life safety and reliability of the systems they work with. Uh, both Kistler and Firetrace work together to ensure that our end users or customers can trust the life safety systems that they're using and being utilized and have continued support even after um, they are installed uh, when they need it the most. And that's really right. where Kistler O'Brien fits in, in that service aspect. Certainly, and, and something that we have pride ourselves on for, for nearly 90 years of, of business and, and growing our portfolio of systems and services that we offer. Uh, speaking of those systems and services, the company started Kistler O'Brien just with extinguishers many decades ago, and now we're in CNC machines, clean agent suppression systems, sprinkler systems, becoming a bigger focal point for us as well with the opening of our Dell Val branch of sprinkler earlier here in 2021. Uh, how important are those types of systems, the not the not often talked about ones with the CNC machines, the clean agent suppression systems that uh, don't always get the immediate notoriety when people think of fire safety, but in particularly machining and business operations, how critical are they? And not only to have those systems in place, but the maintenance and the inspections of them. Well, let me take a moment here to congratulate you guys on opening that Dell Val branch. 
Thank really you. I think that is uh, exciting news. Um, just like fire extinguishers and sprinkler systems, clean agent systems serve a very distinct purpose in protecting people and assets. Uh, the main purpose of any fire suppression system is simply to provide a means to suppress a fire, but clean agents go a step further uh, to also avoid any damage to the assets that they're protecting. Some customers rely on these assets so much that the damage or loss, whether by fire or the systems they trust to put out the fire, uh, could be catastrophic for their business. Certainly. And now let's let's kind of drill down a little bit more. We, we've kind of talked about the CNC machines, EDM machines, and, and how what we do at Kistler O'Brien uh, with the, the service of, of these and, and things like that. But what are they actually doing? What are these machines? And what makes them such a high risk for fire and, and really makes them such an important asset to protect with the correct system? Sure. Um, so a CNC machine, or better known as a computer numerical control machine, uh, that's a mouthful, but just go with CNC machine. Yeah, I, uh, I like the shorter version because I, I can't handle all those letters. Certainly. Yeah, there's a lot of acronyms in fire protection, that's for sure. Um, it's a machine that takes data from a computerized system to control or automate a manufacturing process or a function like milling or grinding or boring or, or lathes and welding applications. Um, mainly for metal components. An EDM machine, uh, here, here goes another name outside the acronym, electrical discharge machine, you can go with EDM, uh, is a machine that utilizes thermal energy to erode hard metals. So two different types of processes. Uh, typically our systems protect CNC machines cutting with oil or die sinker style EDM machines that work with dielectric fluids. That's really a class B fire hazard. Um, so the hazard within that is that liquid hazard. Right. And these systems, these are some costly systems for people to get. So how I feel like across any system that can be put in place in fire in fire protection is some folks think, oh, that's not going to happen to us. We can cut the corner there, especially a lot of businesses undergoing budget you know, restrictions and lost revenue because of the pandemic. Um, how important is it to protect those assets for a business and knowing that um, not only the, the equipment to, to protect that and, and the dollar value on that, but what your systems that Firetrace has that we work with you on can help minimize the downtime and help suppress the fire while also kind of minimizing the damage that could be done to the machine and, and to the operations of that business. Kind of, if you can dive into the, the, another thing I'm not good at, numbers, dive into the economics for us um, on how important that is. Certainly. Uh, I heard two questions in there, and I'll answer them, I guess, in order, if that's all right. Sure. Uh, well, the main and obvious benefit of putting a suppression system in our customers' assets is the fact that uh, it is protecting them from fire. That's a very surface level uh, benefit, if you will. It's kind of how we do it and how efficiently and reliably uh, we do it that sets us apart from the rest of the manufacturers. The use of clean agents, another instance, leaves no residue uh, after it actuates, meaning that it's safe for the equipment um, that it's protecting and does not contaminate any of the costly oils or fluids used in those machines. Those, the cutting oil, the, the dielectric fluid, that's all expensive stuff that they use to manufacture. Um, no cleanup and our industry leading distributors who respond quickly to discharge systems and really support the systems after they're in use. Another benefit to keeping that downtime minimal uh, and downtime is key when it comes to machining end users and customers. Um, as for the cost, that can vary. Um, they're not cheap at all, that's for sure. Uh, a typical CNC machine can range from uh, anywhere from $10,000 to well over a million dollars each. Um, and that's only if you're considering the cost of the asset itself. Uh, the real protection or benefit that we're providing here is safety for the operators and safety for the people that are working within that machine shop environment. Right, right. And, and these are just uh, these machines. And I kind of just want to say this for our audience, maybe not as much of a question, but that these machines or machines like them that, that can be protected by this, the suppression systems, uh, they span a wide industry, and you mentioned it earlier, but really drilling down between pharmaceutical, automotive, electronics, tactical things, medical field. I mean, it's it's just so important and something that 
You may think, oh, that field doesn't even use this. This is something completely different. It truly is likely used in some shape or form somewhere within that sector of businesses. And, and I think that's so interesting about these because they don't get the publicity um, that they, they kind of deserve and how important, and like you said, how expensive they are, uh, but just something to kind of mention for our audience as well. So now that we kind of learned a little bit more about these machines and, and the high dollar value of them and, and how important they are to a business's operations, let's dive back into more about Firetrace and, and how they work with these and, and, and work with individuals like KOB um, and, and obviously the end users as well. So what are some of the benefits a customer might experience if they install a Firetrace automatic suppression system, you know, such as that, that limited downtime, you mentioned you know, suppressing a fire in general, um, I think you kind of mentioned a little bit of these throughout it as, as, you know, cookie crumbs throughout, but kind of summarize that here in, in this answer for me. Certainly. Uh, I think the main benefit, it's a bit of peace of mind. Um, a lot of times machine shops are running their machines unattended. So nobody in the building whatsoever, um, maybe lightly attended. Maybe there aren't many people in the building. Um, with a fire trace system, you're getting a system that is uh, reliable, has a history of working. Um, and has a support network with strong distributors that know what they're doing. Kistler O'Brien is a great example of that. So the trust factor that our systems would work um, in addition to the support after it's already in their machine shop, that's the real benefit to a machine shop having a fire trade system. Right. And a great point with those being unmanned systems at times or machines at times and, and not having that individual, that human elements potentially catch a fire immediately to have the peace of mind with, uh, you know, just top of the line uh, technology with these systems to be able to do that for them. One more note on on this CNC machine. And, and we talked about how it's from ten thousand dollars to one million dollars plus for these systems what would you say is that estimated cost savings or, or something like that that i'm sure you and your team out there selling these across the country have have discussed with potential buyers etc what having something like this could save a business owner in the event that there would be a fire sure so there's the material cost of saving the machine again the cost of a CNC machine can vary from $10,000 to a million dollars like we already spoke about. Um, but it's really the collateral cost that we should focus on here. Um, it's easy to determine what the value of a machine is, um, but it's the contracts that they're supporting with that machine. A lot of these machine shops are running parts as part of a year long contract. And if they lose that machine as part of their contract, uh, they can't deliver because now they don't have a machine to do so. Um, you're, you're talking about collateral damage to their revenue and their business altogether. Uh, so again, that range can be 10,000 to a million dollars in the machine, depending on the industry, depending on the function and depending on the manufacturer. Um, but the damage can go well beyond just the material cost. Right, absolutely. Certainly a very good point as well. Almost a number, a figure that can't be quite calculated depending on each business's situation, but it could well have a trickle down effect into other areas and, and hurt revenues down the line from one simple emergency situation um, that, that could be avoided with the proper suppression system. So CNC machines, EDM machines, all of these machines, the systems that, that you're company Firetrace focuses on with that, with Clean Agent and the others that they, that they work on and, and they focus on as someone kind of that is a, a national sales manager for Firetrace, but also someone that just has years of experience in the fire and life safety industry, I kind of been asking this question to a lot of our guests that I think would be well positioned to answer it and give interesting takes and opinions. Uh, what, in your opinion, does the future of the fire and life safety industry look like with changes on the horizon, tech advances. I know you talk to a lot of industry leaders, see what the future holds at different events and, and shows around the country. You talk to different distributors as well. What are you seeing? It's coming down the line, two years, four years, 10 years. Well, uh, we're in a very interesting time in the life safety industry. Um, many fire equipment manufacturers like Firetrace, like other fire equipment manufacturers out there, 
are looking for new ways to approach the same markets that they've operated in for years. Um, some are returning to methods that have worked in the past with a new revamped way to do it. Um, and some are looking at technological advances in the market, um, including linear detection, both electric and pneumatic, um, where really mechanical detection was a main detection method in the past. We're also seeing and probably will continue to see innovations in the chemical agents being implemented in the field to better address hazards. And the key word or buzzword that I'm hearing a lot of now is sustainability um, for our environment. So you think about electric vehicles, you think about hybrid vehicles, you need to also think that way for everything that you do, not only for your fleet at Kistler or Brian, but um, the systems that you're installing, uh, the chemicals with that, within them have a EPA value or some sort of value for, for sustainability. So uh, manufacturers are looking at that sort of thing as well. And I think consumers are asking for those things. Right. That's a very good point. Sustainability is a buzzword and a initiative that has been kind of slowly underway across all industries uh, over the last few years. But I think in, in the last year and a half, two years, much like everything has been reimagined over the last 18 months, sustainability coming to the forefront again. And you're right, maybe something that hasn't been fully embraced in the life safety industry is certainly going to be coming to the forefront. And like you said, driven by that consumer demand for products that are sustainable and are better for the environment and, and for people overall. So something to really think about to protect life, not only from fires, but also with the sustainability aspect as well. So something that's interesting to mention as well. So very interesting conversation, Chris, I got to say, I think that your answer is very detailed, um, a lot of good insight, and frankly, exactly what I was expecting and anticipating from you here in the August uh, edition of the KOB podcast. Something that I, every time I feel like I learn a, a little bit, I feel like I learned a lot this episode. So Chris, I appreciate you giving us a few minutes of your time today. And folks, if they're interested, um, you know, they can check you out on, on LinkedIn and, and see all the great things that you do. I know you're out and about all the time and, and they can connect with you on LinkedIn and learn more about uh, Firetrace and, and the offerings that, that you do. So again, Chris, really appreciate uh, you giving us a few minutes of your time today and uh, joining us here for the August edition of the podcast. Excellent, Tyler. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to see what Kissler O'Brien has in store. And uh, congratulations moving towards that one year mark on the podcast. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We may have a big reunion later down the line. So expect an invite potentially in the mail. We'll send you uh, for that. So thanks again, Chris. And thank you to our viewers and listeners for tuning in for this month's episode of the KOB podcast. If you missed any of our previous episodes, you can check them out on YouTube, Kistler O'Brien Fire Protection, or our audio only version of these episodes, Spotify, Apple, Google Podcasts, anywhere you get your podcasts, search KOB podcast, and you will find us there. That'll do it for us here in the month of August. We'll be back next month with a brand new episode. For Kissler O'Brien Fire Protection, I'm Tyler Trumbauer. We'll talk to you next time.